Hi, it's Chris Martin, The Hemp Chef. Welcome to my first episode of Convicted Creations. It's a cooking show brought to you by chefs and culinary chefs that have been to prison. Everybody loves a good dessert, and today I'm gonna to bring you my personal favorite, ice cream. When you first get to prison, you get a commissary list, and that's just a list of products that you can buy from the store. So getting anything else out of there is pretty difficult. Um, a lot of times, like as far as milk goes, we bring milk in from the chow hall. So we bring the milk back, we bring the salt back from the little salt packets that we get that come with our love handy dandy little sport. Um, we collect sugar packets. We get two a day with our coffee in the morning. So you can imagine how long it takes to save up two cups of sugar. And then we also take coffee creamer. Coffee creamers uh, sold on the store list for an inflated doubled price, um, a lot like most of these products are. We also use Pop-Tarts in this dish. Pop-Tarts are quite the commodity in prison. They're not only currency, but they're also really old and out of date when you purchase them. So uh, we figured out a way to make a Pop-Tart taste better with this ice cream recipe. The dry ingredients, the ice, you have to have a way to crush this ice. They don't give you hammers at the door or mallets or anything fun to smash things with, so we get really creative. I've kind of uh, showed you a makeshift roll that my buddy Jason taught me in prison. You take chew cans and you fill it with gravel and you tape it together and it makes an amazing rolling pin. Amazing rolling pin. Uh, don't let the cops see you though, because they don't call it a rolling pin. They call it other things, contraband. So we're gonna take all our ingredients for this ice cream and put it in these trash bags that we've had to secure from one of our janitor, one of our, our cleaner, resident cleaners in the cell, which, which you're not allowed to have either, but we find a way out. So we take our milk, we take our sugar, we take our salt, that's gonna help us cure, and we add it all to the trash bag. Yes, they're clean trash bags, we have not used these. And then you're gonna mix it up really well. And while you're mixing it up, you're gonna stir it really well. Then you're gonna break it up with your rolling pin. And this is the time consuming part. This is where you're really happy that you have a few days to do this. At home, you throw it in a blender or a food processor and that'd be done, that would be it. If I need to add more ice, sometimes that could be a challenge. Ice is very, very tricky in prison. You have to purchase tickets. There's no cash transactions, coins, money, any of that stuff. So we use these tickets to go get ice. Bring your ice back, continue to break it down, add it back to your bag, and then you have to go fight for an open dryer space. Typically when you're making this stuff, it's not too hard. You're the ice cream man, everybody will give you a dryer. Once you've found your dryer that's open and available, I wrap it inside of a pillowcase, tying it very securely so that way it doesn't break. We set the temperature on low or zero. You really want no heat whatsoever not to melt the ice. We just want to whip the cream and the ice together. We're going to leave it in the dryer for about 30 minutes, hopefully having plenty of eyes on it, making sure it doesn't get snatched out of the dryer. And then we go back, we grab it, we serve it, and it's ready to eat as soon as we pour. Here we are, we've got our finished product, pouring the ice cream into the cups. And in there, we put them in peanut butter jars, just like this. Reused, recycled peanut butter jars. Just like grandma used to make. There you have it, ice cream from prison. Thank you for joining me on the first episode of Convicted Creations.